Well, welcome along to a wet and very blustery Peter Hill for the rearranged match between Glasgow City and Montrose, which was called off due to very blustery and stormy conditions in the northeast of Scotland. The conditions aren't great this evening, but the game is on. And the home side, the champions, looking to get a win this month. It's unheralded the tough run of the games they've had and not managed to pick up anything. Not scored yet this month, but looking to get on the front footing against Montrose, who have steadily improved as the season has went on so far. That's the that's been given away here, and Montrose with a shot which has just crept over the bar. Reggie managed to find the gap as it fell to it. Gambon. Lovely ball here for Sullivan. He was in space, cutting in as well, wide of the post. Looked like it took a little nick on the way through. I don't know if it did in the end. It will be the goal kick. There's Carter. Flag stays down there for McLaren. And that's off the post from Ridgeway. Now the planned free kick move with some real impetus there. And that will be a foul there as Guthrie clamber over the back. Ridgeway, can get through the gap? Davison trying to run the long way around. One failure by Oscarson. Ali Gambon. Davison this time using that touch well. Fires across, Lauder doesn't get there, but there's the goal from Corey Sullivan at the back post as we hit the midway point in the first half. It's taken a while this month, but thankfully some smiles for City fans, and Corey Sullivan delivers. But that little touch from Davidson to whip it round, and a devilish ball across. Lauder was a stud away from connecting, but Corey Sullivan was there. For a goal seven of the season. Rain coming down that fast straight knocks once again. Sideways at Peter's Hill. Something a slide and Sullivan might pounce on this and might strike for herself here. Corey Sullivan goes early, but Perry was wise to it. We're up towards Forest. And Nerf out a couple of challenges, McLaren winning those in there. Here's Larkin, that's a rasping strike from Larkin. At that post where it stings the fingertips, but comfortable enough for Perry. That is high, and that's going to come straight back down Perry's direction. Maybe with it in the back of her net as Sullivan carries on. Loud challenge in there, was there a ball one? Referee thinks so, and play on. City did play from out from the back in that first half. Here's Muir flashing across, but flashing by. Solid back to Muir. Well against Taylor, but cleared only as far as Anne Oscarson, who fancy a blast. Oscarson. A good dig, but not quite coming down. Space opened up for the Swede. Sullivan winning out in the battle. Good shot as well. And just by, I think, off the bottom of the post. And the first half scorer. Just a rasp a shot towards that goal. Mark and Muir into the box here, just over the top of Wheel and Ted McLaren around. Lauder on the turn. Just too high from Haley Lauder. Trademark barrel from Haley Lauder. Not quite the, the height in the shot on the turn. Forrest. 
Foley. There's a chance for Lauder. And it's going to be clear off the line. Goodness me. I mean, Lauder and Sullivan that was there. It somehow stays out. Um, could get a clean touch. Here's Muirthorpe. Oh, that's a good shot, that. Parried away well by Perry. He's looking to finish the game off here. High by McLaren. That's going to stay swirling sor until Christmas, nearly that. When she comes down and City back with it. Lauder now for Corey Sullivan. And City finish off the game with a goal. They might do, but there's Perry's big hands. And the wind swung that right down her throat, but managed to beat it away. Third minute of Adi on tie. And that one sails over, and that is the story of the night. City do get the win, maybe not the most prettiest win, but it's a win the first of the month and just cleanses our recent games. Ahead of Dundee United on Sunday, Montrose uh, had valiant effort, one or two good chances, but not in the first half. City well, we couldn't put them away, but the conditions certainly played their part. But job done for the Ross, not pretty as I say, but three points. The objective tick. Corey Solomon's goal, midway point in the first half from a great ball across by Lauren Davidson. Means a finish at Petersville Park, Glasgow City 1, Montrose 0.